The Labour MP, Don Butler, has accused the Metropolitan Police of racial profiling after the car she was in was stopped in London. The former Shadow Equalities Minister filmed the incident in Hackney, in which she said officers stopped her friend who was driving. Here's just a little bit of what happened. The other police officer asked me where I live, where I was going. That's also none of your business. Yeah, I've got not. It's none of your. Do you understand that? Yeah. It is none. But when you're of driving a car on a public road, business. then under the road traffic tag, then we can stop a vehicle and we can check the drivers. So yeah, you but it's none of your. But it's none of your business where I'm going. Yeah. Where else are you? Where else are you? Where else are you going to drive a car other than on a public road? But like I said, I've not. I've not asked you any of those So can I just say something? Your attitude is great. Your attitude stinks. Okay. Can I have your details? Please? Yeah, uh, well, following the release of that video, the Metropolitan Police said their officers had incorrectly entered the registration into a police computer which identified the car as registered to an address in Yorkshire. You heard that reference there. Uh, the statement added, once the mistake was realised, the officer sought to explain this to the occupants, then were then allowed on their way. No searches were carried out on any individuals. Uh, well, joining us now, I'm pleased to say, the Labour MP, Don Butler. Ms Butler, always lovely to see you. Thanks for joining us on the programme this morning. Um, I, I want to deal with the, the, the Met statement in, in just a second, but I wonder if you might respond to, to, to comments which I'm sure you'll have seen cropping up on your social media just as much as they have on mine this morning, suggesting that the, the video was flipped to make it look like you were in the driving seat and, indeed, that the driver of the car, the, the other person in the car, was not black, as, as you said, but was white. I wonder if you might just respond to that. It was quite interesting to go on to Twitter late last night and then start seeing all these sort of conspiracy theories. And it just made me think the, the lengths that people will go through just to excuse, you know, racism away or discrimination away or injustice away. I mean, it, it just shocked me. I mean, why would I, why would I flip my camera? I pressed record um, and I was recording and I turned the camera when I had to record the police officer. There was no flipping of the camera. My friend is black. Um, and it'd be quite insulted that somebody's saying that he's trying to, <laughs> to you know, what is that about? It, you know, I was, I was a passenger. We got stopped. I'm black. He's black. He drives a fairly nice car. The police stopped us and said the car was registered to North Yorkshire. I don't understand why that is a, a, a reason to stop somebody if they're from North Yorkshire, but that was what the police said. So, um, you know, the police have given their reason for the stop. I think the important thing is, is that um, we work together to change the system because the system doesn't work. 85% of black people who were stopped are released with no further action. That means that they're using a system that has a 15% success rate. That's not a very good success rate for a system. Just in terms of, the, of what we saw on the video, the, one of the officers seemed to be suggesting that because you were driving through Hackney, they needed to make sure that people were there for, for proper purposes and so on. What, what on earth was he driving at? What did, what did you take from what he was saying there? Well, this is the thing that became quite irritating in terms of nothing making sense. Everything left me scratching my head. You know, driving on a public road, where else are we going to be driving? To make sure we're in the area for the right reason. We're driving through. I wasn't actually going to eat in Hackney, but there are some nice places to eat in Hackney. So none of this made sense. But I think, in a way, it shows you the bias and the assumption that happens when you see black people uh, in a car, you know, driving, that they're automatically saying, we need to check that these people are here for the right reason, that they are not um, criminals. And we need to change that. We need to change that thinking. And that's going to take a lot of effort and it needs to be done quickly. So it needs to be quite intense. And that's why I think it's important that um, I work with the police, but organisations that have been working on this for many years, trying to change the system that doesn't work and over-polices black people and criminalises black people. And yes, sometimes it's a difficult conversation and sometimes it's an uncomfortable conversation, but it's a conversation that has to be had because really this cannot, be, this cannot continue. And in the light of Black Lives Matter, what we're trying to do is dismantle the structural racism that takes place. And McPherson has said that the police, the Met Police is institutionally racist. Cressida Dick doesn't like that term. That is, 
that is not something that she should be saying. What she should be saying is, you know, I lead an organization that is still institutionally racist after 20 years. I need to stop that. I need to cut that institutional racism out of the Met Force and will do whatever it takes. And that's what she should be saying. And that is what she's not saying. So I think that, you know, there's a lot of work to be done, but it needs to be done intensely and it needs to be done quickly. And it gives us an opportunity to do that. I don't want to be stopped on a sunny Sunday afternoon. It ruined my Sunday now. It ruined my Sunday. Just, just in terms of the, the, the statement then uh, from the Met, identifying you know, an incorrectly uh, typed licence plate into a computer as the, as the reason for all of this, what do you make of that? Because certainly it was referenced by the police officers who were there. Uh, I mean, how, how, how are you... Some people will ask, how are you so certain that this was, was, was an obvious and equally as a, an egregious example of people simply being pulled over because, you know, two black people in a, in, a nice, in a nice car, as you put it? I mean, this happens to black people every single day. This happens to black men every single day, whether they're walking or driving or on a bike. It happens to them every single day. The facts are this. We were driving around 10 miles an hour because the lights were changing. We, there was no illegal activity happening. We were two black people in a car in Hackney. Those are the facts, the indisputable facts. So the rest of it is really up to the police. What made them think that we were suspicious? What made them punch the registration number into the system? What made them think if we're coming from North Yorkshire, there's a problem? I mean, I don't know. Maybe there are county lines issues. I don't know. Maybe there is. I don't know. But, 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 Ms Butler, I'm really sorry to interrupt. But we've only got about 50 seconds less. I just, I just wonder what your view is this morning of the police officers that you interacted with on Sunday. Oh, one of them was fine. And I said to him, you know, the way you stopped was perfectly polite. My issue is the reason for you stopping. So, you know, if the reason is wrong, then there's a problem there. The other two police officers were there to agitate and to make trouble. And I think that that's, those attitudes need to be taken out of the police force because it does nobody any justice whatsoever. Uh it's terrible. Ms Butler, as I said, always good to see you. Thanks very much uh, for joining us on the programme uh, once again. Thank you.